This screencast describes how to work with the version control integration. In our case, we have a Git repository. So I have a command line open as well, console. I'm completely clean. I'm on the master branch. And um, let me um, show how to work this with MPS. So let's make some changes. Let's go to our plain C solution that you've seen before and add another function. Void do something return make it an in thing here return 42 okay now we've changed something in this program and you can see here that these two uh, uh, things were added this 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 thing was added you can first of all revert right you can click here and then go back if I do that everything's gone of course, I can undo that and it's back again. I can also um, commit. Command K opens the commit dialog and you can see that something has been changed in this file. Now, notice uh, earlier we talked about the fact that um, these models are actually the granularity of change, uh, actually the granularity of, of storage, and so it's also the granularity of the change of a, of a file. So if we go here and do a git status, you'll see that um, this plain C model has actually been changed. So again, um, I can commit from here. I can put some uh, commit message, edit another function to the tutorial, whatever. I can also go here and press command D, which opens the diff, and then it shows all the roots that have changed and double clicking gives me a nice difference here and it shows that my version has this additional function compared to the remote version and or the version on the master it's not actually remote git is local and so you can see that the projected concrete syntax of the actual program is used here so diff and merge works well so i'm not going to do anything here and i'm going to um, i'm not going to commit because i want to show something so let's cancel. First of all, you can go to the changes view and this always gives you um, this list of files that have changed and you can do the diff thing again, right? So we're back here. You can also, um, first of all, to make this work, things have to be in a Git repository or in some kind of repository, of course, and you may have to tell MPS about it. So if you go to the uh, bum, 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 bum. Where is version control? Version control here. The version control. I specify the git root here. It needs this property, so the git uh, integration works. So let me create a new branch. I'm going to do this with a command line. Git branch demo. Git checkout demo. And now I'm on the uh, demo branch, and I'm going to. Um, uh, commit this here. I can commit from the command line as well. So git commit minus m demo change. And I now have this thing. Uh, we can take a look. Git log last 10. Um, it. I forgot the add. Git add git commit minus m demo change. Right now, here we have the demo change. Now let's um, uh, do something else. Let's um, 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 go back to the master, git checkout master. Of course, on the master, this thing is not present. You should, and you see it has gone. You should, to be sure, you should do a refresh here to make sure everything is reloaded. So now let's uh, make another change. Let's add a global variable x and a global variable why and let's create yet another branch git branch demo 2 git checkout demo 2 git commit minus a minus m the second change now we have on this branch we have the second change right and now, of course, what I want to do is I want to um, create a, com a conflict. So 
let me merge the demo branch. And this resulted in a conflict because the same file has been changed in incompatible ways. So I can go back to MPS and I can um, refresh the changes view and first of all I get this warning you are viewing a model which is not merged yet. You can also see that this is red which means that it has to be merged. So let's go to merge model and it tells me it is um, this model that has to be merged. I go to the merge button and I can now see that the plain C demo root has conflict. It's, it's red, right? Then I can double click and now I can see in a three-way merge uh, the local changes, the changes from the other branch and the result. And so in this case we can for example decide we're going to take this and maybe also take these variables. We can paste them in here and so we have kind of merged both. We can press OK, press OK and then this conflict has gone away and we have both changes here. So in other words, um, what we typically do is that we work with the command line git and only do the resolution of changes and the committing from within MPS. But of course, you can do way more. You can do a git, you know, you can do git branch, you can rebase, you can fetch, pull, push, all these things you may want to do. Um, you can do them from within the tool as well. Um, to make this work, you have to be sure that you install the git merge driver. Um, that is something that MPS prompts you about. When you have a git repository and uh, MPS does not detect the git merge driver, there is a little uh, bubble window coming up here that says that the merge driver has to be imported, or actually has to be installed, because otherwise the merge won't work correctly. There is another issue, and that is if in the same commit or in the same you know, merge, you have um, changes in the language and in instances of that language, because then um, you first have to merge the language, rebuild the language, and then go back into the merge dialog and fix the instances, because otherwise um, the the editor cannot render the program because the language is not yet merged and not, not yet rebuilt. So that is somewhat of a problem, but that's not uh, for end users. End users won't see that. So, um, I guess that's um, all I wanted to show in terms of a quick demo, um, how you would work with version control. Uh, by default, it supports, MPS supports Git um, 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 subversion and, um, and also CVS, but there are all these other uh, integrations coming from IntelliJ that you can use with MPS. Okay, that's it.